big and roll A man of throne, once the present cologne Sweat on your neck, provided earthquakes Yeah, you dead wrong, subscribe, right? Share a comment, pull your dead wrong Dodge fakes, make soup, we called out one time Left behind the legs, I give it roll, no pretense Now hide them behind the folks with no blueprint Your regards are what you think, moves, hints thick Stumble on the right channel, tune in Exploring with Ash B Hello guys, welcome back to another video of Exploring with Ashby. We are underneath a church. This is Big Doddy. King Doddy they called him. He weighed 37 stone and was a very popular figure in Oldham back in the 18th century. King Doddy was a giant of a man. It actually took 12 strong men to carry him down to the crypt where he was put in his final resting place that is 12 men now King Doddy did a lot of his life as he was known he became some kind of he got a position in a mill and what he basically basically did was all of these people he was being forced to work in the mills for a little money and barely any food he'd stick up for them and he'd help them Later on in life, he got a shop, saw pots and pans, and he was also the town crier. He was a well-loved man, and a lot of people will know King Doddy. Big Doddy, King Doddy, that's what he was known by, for Moldom. Just down here, guys, we are here to show nothing but respect, maximum respect. We are not here in any way to disrespect, um, to try and disturb any spirits. That's not our style. So, I hope you enjoy the video. Without any further ado, let's get exploring. And remember to smash that like button, comment, share, and go check out No Limit Cervex. But yeah, I hope you have fun, guys, and enjoy the explore. And God rest these souls. 200 souls there are down here. God rest them all. And I hope they're all at peace. Thanks for watching, guys. And... Let's get to this video. Here goes. Let's do this. Sorry about that, guys. Welcome back. Um, so let's go and have a look at some of these coffins really quickly. Um, I'm just sorry about this. I need to put my camera in the, in the bag. Yeah. Now guys, if anyone believes in ghosts or spirits then I'm telling you now Here's Mitch, No Limits Herbex, make sure you go and subscribe Right, there's two coffins They're piled three high, so each coffin is piled three high so as we're looking through each one of these crypts here, there are 200 bodies down here, 200 coffins. Oh my gosh, that, I think that one's a child. That there was truly heartbreaking to see that child. But there are many more children down here. There's also a knight down here that dates all the way back to the 1210, I think, is the correct date. His name's not known, not much is known about the night. That there is a cross that they bring out at Easter. They use that at Easter. Also, in all of these crypts, most of them are locked, but as you can see, those little holes to the left of me then, and the them gates, if you look through each one of them, you will be able to see the coffins, etc. This is here. There's coffins in each one of them, and that there is where Thomas... Barker was pulled from and he's now currently behind me lying on this bed here his name was Thomas Barker he died at the age of 39 years old he was a mill owner and well known in the town 1845 he died and because he was buried in this lead coffin there's a good chance that he would have died of a collier, the collier disease because that these kind of coffins are airtight, they're vacuum sealed, so to prevent 
any of the germs from escaping. Kind of like a packet of crisp, basically. And if you was to open this now, it'd, it'd basically just pop. Um, yeah, there's a lot of lead coffins down here. They was very superstitious back in these days. The wasn't too sure about diseases, etc. <coughs> and that's why they decided once the dead was... Basically, once they died from the disease, the best way of controlling that was to bury them in one of these lead coffins. So, yeah, back to... You know, when you go to the wall, it's on the left, and the left now. It's on... Um, Also, guys, remember to go and check out No Limits Urbex. <clears throat> the guy is smashing it. A good pal of mine. Um, basically, he loves exploring just like myself. And he's here with me today. There he is on the left end. You just would have seen his feet. But make sure you go show some love. I'm not too sure why, but when the person upstairs inside the church told us about King Doddy. It really did sound like he said 88 stone, so that's what I had stuck in my head. Even though that size was just astronomically large, obviously, if you rewind and go back to the coffin that I've shown, you can see the size of the coffin compared to the others is absolutely massive. So I'm sorry about this, Mitch, when I give you the wrong information, um, but I'm sure that he'll update his video and let his viewers know that King Doddy was actually 37 stone. There's Mitch looking into that crypt there with the baby in it, the child. Nobody likes to see a child's coffin, it's very sad. This one here was empty for some reason, but as you can see, there are rooms behind rooms, and every single one of these are stacked normally three wide and three high. So yeah, there's 200 crypts, like I said, sorry, there were 200 bodies, like I said, down here. A lot of these crypts are sealed shut, permanently sealed shut, no keyholes. These doors cost around about £3,000. Now, this was in the 18th century. They were around three inches thick, and they were there to stop grave robbers. Back in those days, there was a lot, a lot of body snatchers who'd take bodies. Doctors would buy them, they would experiment on them, try and cure diseases, etc., so to get a place down here and to get put in a crypt with a door like a bank vault basically made out of cast iron, I mean three thousand pound in them days that's like what probably about fifty, sixty, seventy thousand pound of today's money. This coffin here, I did it upside down, I'm sorry guys, that's two coffins head to head. But yeah, only the wealthiest were down here and the most famous, but most people are mill owners, etc. And local characters, but you would not be down here if you didn't have money, no chance. Also, they moved five, five and a half thousand people. They had to move out of the cemetery above, and they was relocated down to, I think it was Greenacres and also Hollingwood. I'm not too sure as to why they did that, but that's a little more history for you. And like I said. The coffin of a knight from the 1200s, that's down here. And I'll point that out to you shortly. But just look at it, guys. I mean, to be down here is just so privileged. It really is. <clears throat> it just, It's just awesome. You know what I mean? There is no spookiness to it at all. There is a little eerie feeling here, but it was so peaceful being under a church, obviously. And yeah, anyway, guys. I do hope you're enjoying the video, and like I said, please share, comment, subscribe, smash that like button, there's plenty more content like this to come, and remember to go and check No Limits Urbex out also. It has to be. Right guys, I'm just going to switch you up and I need to get some followers down here. And as I was saying, that there guys, is the original coffin, where the night was, they've now stood it up and made, made it a focal point down in the crypt but that was actually where a knight was once buried over 800 years ago 
that is absolutely insane. You hear stories, the Knights of the Round Table, things like that. And that is where a knight was actually buried. Inside of that, I have no idea where he is now or what's happened to him or why he was moved. But it is a proven fact that that is where the knight was. Now, yeah. To anyone else, guys, who knows the location, we do ask you to keep it on the low key. Keep it down. Don't be sharing it with any idiots because you're not going to get down there. You know what I mean? We had to do quite a bit of work. We had to speak to a few people. It's not as simple as just walking in and they're not just going to let you go in there. They do do tours every now and again. This is John. He's one of the guys who, who runs the church, helps runs the church. And after a few phone calls, we got permission off John. And he basically brought us down here and just left us down here to do our own thing. And he came came down after about 20 minutes, told us a few stories about King Doddy, about the night, about all sorts really. Now look at the floor as well guys, that's a bedrock floor dating back to the 12, 1210. That floor has been there since, undisturbed. And if you look at the walls near the top from time to time, you can see the burn marks where they used to hook the old, um, the old, you know, the candle holders, um, lanterns, sorry, they would hook them. And on the way out as well, they would put the candles out. And there's a lot of marks where I'm pointing the camera now on the walls, etc. They're a bit hard to spot them if you don't know what you're looking at. But, yeah, it's absolutely amazing, guy, that, um, sorry. It's absolutely amazing down here, guys. Nothing but the utmost respect and a big thank you to John. All of these videos, everything down here, any photos, everything is copyright. It belongs to the church. Nobody has the right to freeze frame, Photoshop, um, to take any of these images. And if they do that, then the church shall <laughs> not be happy. They will probably sue you. Like we said, we're not making any money off of this. The church is not making any money off of this. But for somebody to come and steal some photographs or any of the footage that has been taken and try and pass it off as their own, no, it belongs to the church. It does not belong to me. I am just honoured to be down here making this video. And like I say, I have nothing but respect. Thanks, guys. Doctor was up and coming. He was paying people to go and nick bodies so they can perform procedures. It will never be all, never be all again. What them grips? No, never. No, never. You know, we get Act of Parliament and health and safety and all. Might be a stupid question, but access to them? I bet, I bet you the church won't even have access to them, will they? Or would they have? Or would you have to go to another place to get access if you wanted to go inside one of them? Yeah, yeah. You see, they won't move the, they moved five and a half thousand out of the churchyard. Oh my God, wow. Up to the cemetery. Is, is that Grinnaker's up in Grinnaker Cemetery? And probably Hollywood. Oh, Hollywood as well. So guys, there it is. An end to the video. With exploring with Ashby. And No Limits Herbex. Look at that old urn. I do hope you enjoyed the video. Please, no negative comments. Like I said, we're down here documenting the history, showing maximum respect. We'd, like I said before, we wouldn't disturb any of the coffins in any way. I didn't even touch a coffin. And I know that Mitch um, from No Limits Herbex has got maximum respect. There's the crypt getting locked off now. And we'll have to take some photos, guys. But... Like I say, I do hope you enjoyed the video. Please subscribe and share. I'm trying to get to a thousand sub subscribers at the minute. That's my goal. Once I hit a thousand subscribers, I'll be happy. I'll carry on with my videos, but at the minute, that's my one and only goal. Um, Yeah. So, much love, guys. Peace out. And remember, get out there, get a camera, get taking photos. Get your own videos done. Why not, guys? Much love, yeah? Over and out. The service is about to start now, so... I think we've outstayed our welcome. So, Explorer with Ashby. No limits, Herbex. Over and out. <laughs>